I speed it in to like a fuel gas station. We got some plastic bags and some tapes. Then I fixed it up. And then my brother got the ticket because it was like a train. I'm just speed is there, you know, pack everything, you know, throw it on, you know, it was so stressed. But now I'm here. Because it's not good, you know, to, to ride bike in the night. It's not good. At least not like six hours. Uh, two hours is okay. I did that today, it's okay. But not like six, seven hours. So now, the last bit. Going with the train, feels good, but I'm so tired, it was fucking hard, I, wa I was smashing it, but it was going so slow, so slow, because of the wind, oh my god, this is my most epic ride ever, I think it's, I, I think it's in class with the pa uh, Chiang Mai to Pai, but that's more elevation gain, as much elevation gain. Going through mountains. And you know my water is out. And I just have a little bit of dates left. But the ride of my bike works really good. It works really nice. And it was it was fun. Sometimes it was really hard when you know not going and you realize fuck I'm not gonna make it, you know, you know you still try to keep positive, you know, yeah you're gonna make it, come on, keep on, keep on going, you know, because you gotta keep on going. You gotta keep on going. Good. Go find your dream guys. Just do something. I don't know what you're supposed to do, just do something. Do something that you think is fun. Maybe something that can help others. And you shouldn't do something that hurt others, I think. Do something you love, you know. Follow your dream. This is not my dream, but I fucking love it. So I think it's fun, you know. Good exercise. Bit of an adventure, you know. Just come up with an idea just two days ago and just fuck it, yeah, let's ride the fallen, you know. And I do it. That's how it works. I get idea, then I do it. I don't think much about it. I just I want to do it. Okay, what I need to do it, and I fix it. You know. I've been training so much this week, also climbing every day, plus, plus running. I've been running almost 30k also this this week. So this week is high in volume and intensity and fucking everything. So. And some adrenaline too, which is right. So yeah, if you want to ride bike in Sweden, if you go by train, you have to cover it up. Love you guys. See you later. Let's get back on the road again. Riding to my mother because my friend, they were out, out drinking, so he <laughs> wasn't home. And I don't really feel for drinking. So he's like, oh man, yeah, come to my place. We can get some clothes. So he was like, I'm so tired, you know. And I go up to my mother's place, smash in like two liters of water, have some food, and I'm gonna crash. Living life large, you know, there's what I had to on the train. That Got it up, three minutes, done. Get on the road, live life. Two! Now on the road again here in Fallen, my hometown. Just had some breakfast. I'm gonna ride around. I'm gonna take Fallen biggest climb, you know, by the it's like a slopes for ski jump. Go gonna ride up there. Then I'm gonna meet a friend. That's gonna be nice. Do you sleep at my friend's place? Tomorrow go back to Stockholm with the train, not biking, I'm not that of a hardcore biker, you know, I want to do it for the fun, you know, because my main goal is climbing, so I want time tomorrow to climb, yeah, see you guys.
the white car over there. Where is my mother, boyfriend, and my two sisters? They're going to meet my my mother's boyfriend. Perfect. This good. Another rider. Yeah, go right. Now we are at my home hometown. Yeah, I lived here for like 10 years, I think. <laughs> Old place. There is like a, I think there is like a pride festival today. Yeah, I think there's a pride festival. Also like some other shit here today. Power companies, bikes and stuff. Yeah, let's check it out. What it is? Before when I used to drink alcohol, so to be drunk here a lot. But now I don't drink alcohol because it's so fucking bad for you. It's like fucking poison. It's addictive. Fucking bad. Fire, horses. Yeah. This is where I usually always took my bus, you know. Here. It's such a small town. It's a nice town. Quite nice people, you know. It's good. A lot of memories, you know. I had, had a lot of good friends here. Yeah. I talked to more many of them, maybe like two, three of them because my life has changed so much last year, you know changed a lot, you know but I'm so happy a new life every day is like an adventure, you know working out, it's like what am I going to do today? what am I going to do my life? even when I go to work, it's like I want to do the work, you know, I'm dancing new stuff, you know, cutting edge stuff in the subsurface. But my work is holding me back from really fulfilling a couple of my dreams, which is being able to travel wherever I want, being able to climb much I want. You know, working takes eight, tire, time, eight hours, five, five times a week. That's a lot of time. And I want to put that effort into other stuff in my life. So, yeah, I'm gonna ride up there, go to the biggest hill climb he's fallen. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, it's cruising on. Cruising along, you know, you don't have to train, but you can explore, you can go on adventures, discover new things, rediscover stuff, you know, have fun, be healthy at the same time, you know, my blood test came in today, every fucking thing were awesome, within the ranges, you know, fucking awesome so I'm gonna make a lot of videos about it later on you'll see it love you guys see you soon over here we have ski jumps so I'm gonna bike up there it's the biggest climb is fallen it's very big but fall is quite nice because it's like very slopey but not big slopes you know it's not like Chiang Mai where it's like big fucking mountain there's like flat here's like up and down all the time and there's small bump the biggest it's good wow volleyball rings and stuff skateboard it's good it's good see you later guys isn't it amazing so beautiful we have the towers with the ski jump really high pretty awesome
Yeah. Oh, it was a couple of years. It's not like so it's a step or something, but it's a little bit windy but it's not chill. So nice. They're gonna have like world world championship in down there. It's quite nice. Sports, big uh, problem. But so nice. Look at the clouds. So beautiful. And I feel so strong. I feel like everything is just falling apart. Like my blood test. Like I tested for like, you know, liver, kidney, heart, you know, cancer. Like a, a lot of factors. You know, my triglycerides, LDL. You know, HDL, you know, cholesterol, you no know, calcium, magnesium, a lot of trace minerals and D vitamin, B12, everything was fucking awesome. It feels really good, so the world is just smiling at me. I hope it's smiling at you. Just let it. Just let it smile at you. Just do the things you love. Everything will take care of itself. And if things happen, you know, it goes to shit. Just correct yourself, fix it. Simple as that. And if it goes really bad and you die, well, then you get to experience death. But death isn't really experience it because people say it's a non-existing experience, so it can't be experienced. Oh, never mind. You will see for yourself. Did you find any mushrooms? No. No! no. Only a little bit mushrooms, yes. yeah. Awesome. Swedish mushrooms. Not magical ones, but ones you can eat. You want to find some magical? <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's time for some cold the fuck up dinner here. Rice, green peas, turmeric, some tomatoes. I ate them all up. Tomato sauce, some fucking water. Got YouTube editing on the roll here. So, eat some food. It's beautiful weather outside. It's gonna be a really good day in the forest. So, gonna eat here. I just packed my bike here, fix some up with my bike. I'm gonna eat. Feeling good. See you guys. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>